So let's do that together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Pretty easy. That's something that you don't have to necessarily have super advanced skills to do, but you will have to practice that chuck. I mean, if that's new to you, then sure, that's going to take you a little while to sort out, and that's okay. No problem there. You can do it. Um, and as I talked about in a previous video, the best way to practice chucks, if you're an absolute beginner, is to do a C chord and just do one simple down strum, and then do one simple chuck so you're doing strong chuck strong chuck strong chuck strong chuck nothing fancy keep it simple but then if you're getting confident and you feel like you're getting this down and are able to do it okay however long it takes you to get to that point then you can attempt the proud mary strum and do what we just did So of course this isn't just used for Proud Mary, I mentioned last time about the hula strum. It's used in an awful lot of Hawaiian songs. It's used in all kinds of stuff. There's a song called The Lion Sleeps Tonight. You probably have heard that. I think it was from the 50s or the 60s. Um, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. That one. Um, that's kind of a good, easy beginner ukulele song because it has uh, really basic chords, C, F, and then C, G7. Um, not so daunting when you look at those three chords. They're, they're pretty easy. Great way for beginners to practice their chords is to learn simple songs like that. Apply this really cool chuck strum to it and you get... slow motion same strum we did in prod mary just apply it to a different song a different set of chords all right last but not least i want to give you a bonus chord uh chord progression or a bonus strum actually and this is what i call the phil specter beat it's um you hear it a lot in like leader of the pack and songs like that um boom 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 he had it as a drum beat in a lot of his 60s hits that he uh he produced but we can do that on the ukulele by using chucks and we go like this i'll play it first and then i'll explain it Will you still love me tomorrow? And uh, and then he kissed me and um, all of those. Those are great songs from way back then that have that basic kind of uh, beat to them. Boom, 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 boom. And then later, lots of people copied that Phil Spector strum. That was um, quite uh, a part of uh, modern music too. Concrete Blonde had a song called Joey way back then in the 90s. Use that beat. It used that exact same beat. Even though it wasn't a uh, girl group 60s thing, it um, borrowed that beat. It's a very fundamental beat in rock music. So here's how we do it. You do a simple down strum. You do a chuck. You do an up right after the chuck. You do a down strum. And one more chuck. The chucks are on two and four as they always are. And so this is... You could apply it to say the 50s chord progression if you wanted the doo-wop progression. C, G, no I'm sorry, C, A minor, F, G. I was thinking of the let it be progression, but this is C, A minor, F, G.
That's a real good way to practice it and kind of coordinate a chord change along with this chuck strum. It's like kind of multitasking, doing a couple things at the same time, and that'll really increase your skills a lot. Uh, if you have to, well, work on just the chords. Work on C, A minor, F, G. Get that together. And then work on just the strum on maybe just a C chord. Eventually, you'll get the confidence to put those together. And there you have it, ukulele people. Everything you wanted to know about the Chuck condensed into one little lesson here. Hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to click the notify bell, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.